Hi there. Hong Kong has been home to me past 30 years and every time I've left a return usually to skyrocketing property prices. Except for the one time during SARS when the prices dipped and I should have bought uh, because then I would be sitting on a beach right now instead of talking to you folks. And now once again during the COVID pandemic the prices have gone down for retail and for uh, office space, but not for data centers, surprisingly, that has shown a serious uptick. And the reason for that is very simple. The pandemic itself has contributed hugely to the increase in the demand for data centers. But having said that, let's not forget that even before the pandemic, we were going increasingly online. Our lives had taken an online course. We were clicking away rather than visiting shops. We were clicking for our food, for our travel, for our work, for play. And the more we click, the more data centers are needed in a territory where there is no more new land available. So that then is the topic for today. Uh, Hong Kong and the interesting data center conundrum we have here. In 2019, in the first quarter, I believe, Hong Kong's IT capacity was about 300 megawatts. Today, first quarter of 2021, uh, it was almost 400 megawatts, and that's about a 27% increase. Um, I can myself confirm that in the past 12 months, while office and retail rental has come down, Data center prices have gone up about between 5 to 10 percent, and right now they are at about 20 to 30 Hong Kong dollars uh, uh, square foot. So it looks sweet, doesn't it, for data centers? Uh, you have a location with a rising demand. Uh, uh, the location, which is Hong Kong, has got very reliable power to very reliable providers. Uh, it's got low power tariffs, lower than most countries in the region. It has one of the best internet uh, and broadband connectivity in the world. It has got great data protection laws, and it's got a great climate, a decent climate, which works well for our business. So all of this work in tandem to create a sweet spot, except for the fact that there's one little missing piece in the puzzle, and that is the shortage of land. We have a paucity of, paucity of land in Hong Kong. Luckily, the government has stepped in uh, massively at times and uh, given incentives to build, do green fields. So in building a new data center, there are incentives in place where the land is made available. Uh, but more than anything else, the the uh, what they call the wholesale conversion of older buildings that is the biggie that's what allows us to build more data centers in hong kong that is take older buildings you know 15 years older and then convert them industrial buildings uh, that that are currently being used warehousing printing shops we take that we have the opportunity to take them retrofit them as long as the ceiling height and the and the um, um, floor strength is acceptable. You have the potential to convert that building into a uh, into a data center. So demand is is great, but we have a shortage of land. We have high investment costs, and it's the highest in the world. Land, the property prices here. We have lack of suitable buildings, as I just laid out. Um, and adding to all these very real issues is the increasing competition from Singapore and across the border, Shenzhen. Singapore has actually passed Hong Kong to become the third largest um, data center hub globally after Ashburn in Northern Virginia, where actually I live, and uh, Amsterdam. So you have Ashburn, you have Amsterdam, and now you have Singapore. Hong Kong has to catch up, and as if that's not um, serious enough, you have Shenzhen across the border, flexing its muscles. 
So all of this are the challenges we face in Hong Kong. However, one discounts Hong Kong at one's peril. There is not a more resilient city on this planet, what I've learned, and, uh, and Hong Kong is getting ready again to show what it's made of. Um, thank you, everyone, for, for listening to this short piece in Hong Kong, and uh, hopefully you learned something from, from the talk. Um, good talking to you, and uh, bye-bye.